<laughs> Yo, hello, I am the big guy Ryback and welcome to Boozing with the Big Guy, another episode, I'm uh, getting ready to wrap up and call it a night here guys, it's been, uh, been a long day, we've got a lot done, I'm, um, we've just shipped off all the supplements the other day to uh, the fulfillment, the supplement fulfillment company that's going to be handling the website orders and the inventory uh, and allowing me to scale uh, at a massive level um, and help me with uh, distribution and different things and Amazon UK, Mexico, Canada and things of that nature. And uh, So finalizing all that and, and just kind of, uh, we're, doing, we're doing the website orders for um, probably another week or two, depending on when, when everything arrives and um, them plugging into the system and able to kind of take everything over and um, it's been a very rewarding uh, experience to be able to get to this point so I'm uh, thank you very much uh, tonight though tonight we are having some Tito's Tito's uh, vodka you can see how much I actually well I've not had that much. I went and bought a little bottle tonight, and because I don't, I don't like actually keeping. Uh, I have a bar here, but I don't like keeping a lot of like alcohol and stuff here. Not that I'll drink it like have because I've had it. I just don't. I've, the only reason for me to drink now is just kind of relax to do this show, <laughs> whether it's whining or this or the boozing. So I got my nice little boozing with the big guy glass here, little uh, Tito's vodka, and I'm doing a little bit of uh, the Zevia grapefruit citrus tonight. And I put a little splash of water in there as well, um, which does no good really in the grand scheme of things. But like this will be it tonight. So I guess that's, it's not even half a bottle because you got the little neck. It was with that. So, but I don't. I haven't been drinking all that often. Well, I do need to. I got to talk to Stone Cold and see. I forgot because we're talking. He's been doing the plant based diet. And uh, I say stone cold, it would feel Steve, the uh, fucking Mark, the fucking stone cold, the, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like him, he's a man, hell of a guy, the, uh, get that, his, uh, his beer, I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a review of that, I was actually gonna get the, the Connor Proper 12 uh, whiskey to do, but they didn't have it at the liquor store in Vegas, and they used to have it. And they used to like feature it, uh, and it's gone. So they must have had some falling out. I wonder if he raised the prices or something where they weren't happy. I don't know. I don't know why they would. I mean, they obviously they sell all different price alcohols in there, but something. Unless I was just completely blind to it, but I looked around and I didn't ask. And then it's it's my fault at the end of the day because one of the guys did. You need any help? And I I feel like a lot of people ask me that because I have a dumb looking face. So like when I don't need help, oftentimes. I'm just sitting there looking, assessing things. I look like I'm confused and it's legit. Like this has happened my whole life. And uh, they're like, are you okay? Do you need help? And I'm like, I'm just looking. And that happened tonight. And I think because I'm always such, uh, so on the defensive over that, I told the guy I did it, but I really did want to help. <laughs> and then, then my ego just took over. Then I was after I said, no, I don't fuck it. I'm going to find it on my own. And I did a thorough search and I didn't find it. So I just feel like they don't have it, but I, I can't give you the exact reason because I didn't take the extra effort to go, actually, I did need help, sir. And here's the fucking lesson for you guys. Ask for help. <laughs> Fuck me, Jesus. <laughs> Let me go ahead and uh, pull some of these comments up tonight, guys. I know there's somebody that's really pissed that we're already four minutes and haven't got to any of the positive comments of me putting myself over. But anyways, guys, just having a little relaxing, a little drink here, a little sippy sip. I love the Baby Yoda, if you don't know that already. The Baby Yoda makes me very happy. I love their, I can't get enough of the Baby Yoda memes. Those Baby Yoda memes. I, whoever, I mean, the, the Mandalorian, the fuck. And I, I, I tried to order the movie the other day on Vudu, the movie app that I have, and uh, that I very rarely even use. And then I was told that it's only on the Disney Plus or whatever, and I go, fuck. I don't have Disney Plus, but am I going to have to get this to watch this cute little baby Yoda? Because I, 
I need to know where these memes, I need to see the actual footage of where these memes are coming from. So, that's where we stand with that. Joe Wop. Thank you, Ryback. You are actually the most interactive YouTuber I've ever, a YouTuber, how did I not just mess that up? YouTuber I've ever come across. Great video, by the way. Thank you very much, Joe. I don't know uh, what this is, one is referencing uh, because I had Kai back, Kylie, who uh, does a, a phenomenal job on everything. Just a wonderful woman and uh, just fucking amazing. But uh, she uh, sends me these when I ask and uh, like really quickly too. She's, it's unbelievable. But thank you, Joe. I'm, uh, I try to like all the comments on everything and uh, we use the app to be able to go through and, and like them and I read them. And uh, I know there was somebody today that was like accusing me of having the app. And I'm just like, man, you can't get mad at it because they, they, they're, they're the ones, they wouldn't be willing to do the work. So they, anybody who is willing to do the work and like the comments, that's why they're saying that. Once you understand that, you just, you learn not to take shit personal. Uh, that even though, don't get me wrong, I still do. Not that one, but there are other times because I'm human. And I've also been gifted a fucking Hulk-like body that allows me to take my anger out in a very physical, aggressive fucking manner on people that, that have no business trying me. Okay. I'm just living my best life. Micah uh, Wangrude, hope I pronounced that right, good chance I didn't. Didn't disappoint again, another great video, smell my fucking sandwich. Your carefree and positive attitude is awesome. Thank you very, Mike, thank you very, Mike. Am I drunk? I don't, this is, I don't know what I'm, this is, thank you very much, Mike. I'm just forgetting words now. I do my best, I... I was talking, I had ODB on the podcast, conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms here this week. And uh, we were talking about that, how we can just, um, it's such a great freedom to not work for anybody else but yourself because you can speak freely. You can speak without fear of repercussion, without somebody of a, with an organization, with big money, with sponsors that don't want, you know, you just, and, and this is kind of like the Gary Vaynerchuk thing where he says sometimes he would be bigger even if he didn't cuss as much. And it's going to, it's the case with me. And I even, I, I had a, an instance this week guys on the podcast. I had three cancellations this week. Two of them were just uh, things going on and I know the, the reasons and it's not a big deal. One of them though, what I know is because of some stuff and wrestling and some other bullshit where they were nervous to come on. And I can, I know, and I know I can spot it a million miles away because they're trying to get hired somewhere. And I'm just like, man, like, fuck, we could have a conversation about anything but wrestling. I don't give a fuck. Like, but when sometimes it can end up like where it can scare people too, because, uh, uh, and I understand that because they're not in the position that I'm in to be able to speak um, and say how they truly feel. But that's where I was like, it's unfiltered and you get the real fucking opinion on things here. It's not no corporate fucking shitty WWE bullshit. And um, because you're never getting the truth or you're not getting the, the full deal with people that are working there because the, you're not allowed. That's just the way that it is. So. <clears throat> Smoke reviews. Another awesome reaction in the bag, brother. Looking forward to see you grow even larger this year. I'm pretty fucking jack right now maybe he meant spiritually and mentally though and i just went all physical on his ass uh wherever you go wrestling wise best believe i'm going to be watching and supporting you thank you very much smoke that's the goal build an audience and a following here and be loyal and continue to do this forever because this is fun as fuck and then uh hopefully be able to to pick and choose where i want to go work you know ideally what would be really cool and I think, I don't think a lot of guys think like this, but I was like, with where I'm going with this and, and what I'm going to do, and I'm going to do it, <laughs> is not signing with any one major organization, but like, hey, 
I want to go wrestle Hunter for 60 minutes at fucking WrestleMania, and I'm going to go fucking do it. And then, like, hey, I want to take, like, three or four months off and continue doing what I'm doing. And then, hey, I want to go wrestle for AEW, and I want to go do this little program over there. And then I want to go say, fuck it. You know what? I want to go fucking wrestle an Impact and do a little program over there. Fuck it. Maybe I want to go wrestle in front of 30 people with Ring of Honor. I want to go do a little something, something over there or 400 or whatever it is. But you know what I mean. And that's not being taking a shot at Ring of Honor. But I've seen some of the crowds they have in Vegas and whatnot. It's, but it is what it is. But I'm just saying I would like to be able to bounce around and like not be uh, tied up with any one place. Why? Why not? You can do anything you want, this, especially if you can do what I'm doing and have the financial freedom. And then you can you don't have to tie yourself down to one place and you could be a true independent contractor and go in and then and I treat wrestling like fighting where you don't go and let's be honest, guy, none of us want to see this shit all the time like this. I think it'd be way cooler to wrestle two, three, four times a year. Keep your health, go fucking balls to the wall when you do go, have cool programs at the time. And then get the fuck out. And then, that, like, and I'm not talking like Brock and like being there every week, but not being there. And like, I'm talking like get in, do a deal, and get the fuck out. And then go fucking wrestle somewhere else. Maybe show up at a shitty indie event and like fucking surprise everybody. And then, but like, it's fun. And that way, and it's unpredictable. And man, I just look at this a lot differently now than what I ever did because I'm allowed to look at it differently now. Because you don't, I, I, you don't need it. So, we'll see. As I continue, I'm doing one more stem cell procedure, guys. Which on my shoulder, they're doing an MRI next week on my Latin uh, shoulder again. And we're going to find whatever areas. And I've, I've come so far. In the, like I've said, 42 days plant-based. And like over 300, 302 pounds right around that. Always fluctuate right around that range. And, uh, but I... My back is great, but I got to get this shoulder a little better. And because uh, it, it was, it was, and I can't stress this enough, it was game over, guys. It was done. This isn't, and I'm very, I've been positive throughout all of it that I was going to overcome this, but it was, this is, uh, and I don't want to toot my horn or anything. It was game over. So it, it, I'm very protective of, of all of this to get this to where I can have it, where I can really, really. Uh, be my all-time best so I spend money every week I have a girl come out and work on my nerves on my leg to get the nerve function back in my foot this is all stuff you guys again WWE and it, I've had to just let it go but it bothers me because I, I I've had it, it, it at the end of the day I got to get it fixed and um, you know and I'm going to and we're close so you just got to be patient I know a month to you might seem like a long time I've done this for over three and a half years over that. So it, and it's nothing. It goes it, like, I'm not worried. I'm younger. I feel better than I've ever felt. So old age ain't going to set in until probably about 57 and a half with me going on my genetics and my parents. So closer to 60. So we got plenty of time with these YouTube videos, guys. Just sit back and relax. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, Simon Storm. I love that. I love names with the, I'm like Vince. I, and that's one thing with Vince. God damn it. I love names. That start and end with the same letter. Not start and end, but first name, last name. Simon Storm. You have one in every aspect of life. You're doing better than ever. And it makes me happy to see you happy and doing good. Ryback, you are an inspiration to many people. Don't ever forget that you're a good dude. Thank you very much, Simon. Just trying to live my best life and I love you guys I really do that's why I try to be interactive and I want you guys I have been uh, possessed since leaving WWE to let my fan base and my audience know me fully and, uh, and know why I made all the decisions that I made and Gary Vaynerchuk has played a huge role in that and of just I'm not afraid just to be myself because at the end of the day you could be a big guy, you could be muscular, you could be jacked, you could be tough as fucking nails. And still you could you could cry, you could you could have emotions, you could laugh, which I love to fucking laugh. It's like you could do anything. But when you're fighting, you're fighting. And that's the thing with life, like you no matter what the situation is, there's all these different elements to life. And but when you fight, 
you're fighting. And it's a different mindset. And that intensity and that energy is, is who I am. That doesn't mean that I need to have that on every different aspect of life, which you will see people not be their, their true selves because they're afraid to show people a softer side because they think in what that comes from insecurity. See, I'm not insecure in that nature. I'm okay showing a soft side. I'm okay showing if I get a little bit emotional because I know at the end of the day that when I have to turn it on and I have to fucking go, that that's going to be there because I put in the work for that to be there. And that to me is the ultimate freedom is showing all elements of your human nature and character and who you are personality wise. And that is what I strive to continue to try to show you guys naturally through these different, different things, different challenges, different types of little gimmick shows that we do on here. So, and what, at the end of the day, how that helps me is it allows my audience and people form a connection with me and know me better than anybody, you know, on TV, because the people that you see on TV, you don't know. And you know me and you've already seen me and you didn't know me before, but now you do. So that if I do go back, it makes me more because you actually have a real connection with me. Not a fake connection reading lines from a 35 year old virgin. Nothing wrong with being a virgin. Maybe 35 is a little bit much. Not my, no, I'm not, no, no judgment, not my call, but it is what it is. Uh, B Hammy, I love the name. Just received my big guy supplements the other day. I feel the difference already. So happy with the purchase. We'll definitely order more products. Thanks, big guy. Feed me more nutrition. Thank you very much, B Hammy. And it's it's the real deal. I can't. <laughs> this stuff was created out of a necessity for me, uh, and I'm I'm constantly trying to learn and improve. On all these different things uh, but the supplement industry let me down at a very young age selling me andro at a GNC and uh, fucking up my testosterone levels very really young and uh, it was in being told that what I was taking was healthy and okay and and, and then moving on and, and doing all the different supplements and protein powders and pre-workouts and fat burners and having all this stupid shit in it that that ended up I thought I was being healthy and I've always been health conscious, but I like the internet, this stuff wasn't as readily available as it is now. None of us knew. And uh, all these companies were just making money selling a shit. And uh, it, it really it bothered me and I, I didn't want to be that. And I wanted to create an alternative that people and getting to know me, you could trust me that I'm not going to sell you something because I'm taking this stuff for myself. And I'm not going to make and take something for myself that is going to harm me. And not to say that I can't make things better. And we will constantly revisit that and look at things and how to constantly stay on top of the, of the ball on all of that and make things better. But I, uh, the, the big guy testosterone booster, I tell people, go get a blood test. Go get blood, go get blood work, lab work for total and free testosterone before. And, and then two to three months after or while you're on it towards the end. And you'll see. And that's all. And everybody that has done that has seen. And, it, and it's, it's, an, it's a really cool thing. And, and I was confident in that because I did that and I saw how it worked for me. So, and me having low T and being on TRT and coming off of it and still getting my testosterone up into the low normal range after being really, really low. And then seeing it go up 200 and whatever it was points it was, and I don't have the exact number on me, but it was, it was, it was a significant amount. And uh, other people who have gotten the test have seen anywhere from 100, 150, 200 points. I can't make it up. Go do it and test it for yourself and see. Not to say it's going to do that for every single person because there's always exceptions to the rule. But it uh, makes me happy when people, when people get the results. Douglas uh, Nysether says, I'm watching every single thing Ryback TV has to offer these days. Officially my favorite content and officially still one of my favorite and completely underused and underestimated wrestlers of this era. Keep on trucking, big guy, and feed us more content. Thank you very much, Douglas. Very, very kind of you. Was that all of them? I thought I had one more. Let me see. I think I skipped over one. Last one here, guys, from the chosen one, Lee Wyatt. 
I want to say thank you for being who you are and it's so hard anymore to find someone that's so genuine and has a good personality and a good outlook on life. I always enjoy every video you make and I have complete faith in you that you're going to make it to one million and more. And also I'm very glad that you have got your back into better shape and back to normal and your shoulder also keep making great content and feed me more. I think there was a little more but it cut off on that. Thank you very much, The Chosen One. Very kind of you. And uh, I try to just be me and uh, no bullshit. And it, I think at the end of the day, it's important to realize that there's always uh, the good ones. And that's why I do the good comments on here, guys, because we, we laugh at the bad ones and have fun with that. Um, but there's, there's a lot more good human beings on this planet than bad ones at the end of the day. I think it's really easy to get caught up in the news and get caught up in all the bullshit politics and... All this stuff and these vicious people and the TMZ bullshit and all these people that are just making money, just fucking bashing other people. It's stupid. There's no need for it. And um, it's up to us. Those places don't exist if we don't watch it, guys. As far as, as, far as like the, 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 the news ratings, the news is always going to be there. And, but TMZ in these places, if you guys don't feed into that shit and they don't get the ratings, they get shut down. Not to say someone else doesn't pop up, but... At the end of the day, we got to hold ourselves accountable for the shit that we're watching. And, you know, I always say, you know, you watch, you see them making fun. You see, you watch a group of people like a TMZ sit around making fun of people, laughing at them. You look at them, you're like, what have what those guys ever done? Why are they doing that? And they're doing it because they're collecting a paycheck and they're getting ratings to do that, to make fun of other people and to, to try to expose other people or do other things. And, you know, <clears throat> you look at it and like to put yourself like, what if that was you? How would you feel? And then people watching it and forming opinions and it's just stupid shit, man. So we gotta we gotta hold ourselves accountable at the end of the day of what uh what we're gonna watch and what we put in our brains. Because this world is filled with people who just wanna make money in a bad way. And I do not agree with that. I'm I think making money is a great thing and there's all so much good comes from making a lot of money and helping a lot of people. Um, but I think there should be a certain standard for which you do that which isn't always upheld, unfortunately. So with that, guys, with that, this has been a fun one. I want to thank you guys for watching and I uh, hope you guys have a great week. Check out the podcast with ODB this week, Conversation with the Big Guy Ryback and Feed Me More Nutrition. All new customers can save uh, 20% with discount code new customer. And we got the weekly email you could sign up for. It. We, give, we, we give discounts on the weekly email once a week, guys. It's only one email written by me. I don't hire a writer. And I did that for a bit, and I hated it because it wasn't me. And it felt like such a fraud thing to do. And and um, it wasn't. It's just stupid. I hate and I, I've signed up for guys I follow and guys that are ultra wealthy and that uh, do uh, different things and uh, and or, have good followings on social media and they spam the fuck out of you and it's stupid and we do a thing on the website too with the phone number we don't spam your phone number on that i'm not going to do that all we're going to use it for is to give you huge discounts that we're not going to give publicly so if you're supporting and you follow and you give your phone number or you give your email for the newsletter once a week you get a message from me which i usually do my thought of the week something of a uh on a more positive uh based mindset sort of thing or whatever I'm feeling for the week on that. We'll give a little update on who's on the podcast and we give a discount for the nutrition. And, uh, like this past week we did buy one, get one free on the shell shock fat burner in which I've never done outside of that. And then we do other ones where we give 30, 35% and not to say we won't do 40, 45, 50% on some weeks just for people that show our support and sign up for that because we're not publicly putting it out on a mass level. So, it doesn't hurt us quite as bad on that. So, And also, I'm not the one doing everything anymore. So I have a team fulfilling all the orders. So if I want to say, hey guys, fuck it. This week I want to give you 50% off by because you're showing your support. And then it's not me having to do a shit ton of orders, you know, and, and being, and, and I've done that already and it's fine. But there's only so much I can do with everything going on. But anyways, guys, shut the fuck up and wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. And uh, get hungry, stay hungry. Feed me.
Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.